Hi guys, I've just conducted my lecture in Thane branch today and after lectures almost 10 students asked me sir if I leave maths can I still crack MBA and this was same question across the board in Andheri, in Dadar, Borivali, everywhere I'm getting the same question because obviously especially for the non-engineer non at times maths can become very tough to crack and people start getting scared of that and the problem is the size of the books as well this is a typical size of our verbal logic di book and this is the size of the maska book so maska book is almost triple the size of the book of logic and others so which obviously can create a very bad impression to students okay so two things here number one yes you cannot crack mba without maths you have to do mba ct you can crack yes without touching maska book but from the uh, CAT point of view, CAT and MET, every other exams, it is it's almost impossible because there is a sectional cut of a quant. So we have to crack quant. Okay. So in this video, I'll try to plan, make a study plan, how to plan your studies. So those who have already joined some coaching classes, what you can do is just follow the class major children. For example, today we have done equations in the class today. So your job is to do equations at home. Do nothing else. Do, don't do geometry because neither you'll be able to complete geometry nor be able to complete equations. So do do uh, whatever topic is done in the class just do the same topic at home so for example today we have done uh, equations go home and do 30 questions on equations i personally feel 30 questions is good enough number of questions to make you understand the topic obviously not become expert but to become understanding the topic 30 questions more than sufficient so 30 questions after going home i'll do from this As a, if you're sitting in student we are also mm -hmm. recording every lecture so every lecture ka e class will be available for you online so you can just go through the revision you can revise the topic again in classroom, for a non-engineer, you'll understand 50 to 70 percent. So to today's lecture, most of you will understand 50 to 70 percent. Remaining 30 percent or 50 percent, I have to go home and revise so that I can complete the syllabus. Okay, so that's something you have to do it twice. As an engineer, I've done M1, M2, M3, M4. They have done engineers have done maths four times. But for non-engineer, last time you have seen maths in school days. So I have to revise all those things. Okay, so. That's number one thing. Please keep on doing the same topic again and again. Second thing is, if I give you a logic question, verbal question, you can at least try. Maths, you can only solve the question if it is in the database. The only way to improve your maths is increase your database. So pick up your maths book, do 30-30 questions per chapter in such a way that if you get a question again in any exam, you should know how to solve that question. Okay. So, and next thing is that whenever you do a maths question, look at the solution first. First, it's okay. Read the question. Nahi samja. If you know how to solve that, solve. If you don't know how to solve it, look at the solution. It's alright to look at the solution and solve the question. In, but do it in such a way that tomorrow if you see the question anywhere, you should know how to solve that question. That's your ba basic bottom line. Okay. So do 30 questions, but do it in such a way that tomorrow you see that question anywhere, you can solve the question. Okay. Third thing, the most important part, yes, there is a sectional cutoff of a quant in the CAT exam. But you know how much the cutoff out of 30, out of 100, one third, 34 question maths, 34 verbal, 32 logic. Out of 34 question maths, you need 90 percentile plus to get an IM call. And 90 percentile is only 10 question correct. How much you scored in 10th class? 80, 70. Out of 100, you can score 70. Or out of 100, you can solve 70 percent questions. Here out of 34, if you can do 10th, which is not even 33 percent, 30 percent, you are getting an IM call. Yeah, you don't need to do the full syllabus. You do the important topic, the topic you like, but do them thoroughly. Get 10 those 10 questions correct, you are getting 90 percentile. 15 questions correct, you are touching 97, 98 percentile. Where you get all the M calls. Okay, in concept I'm talking about. So let's do very well in verbal logic. Worst case scenario, even if you're doing 10 questions correct, you are getting IM calls. Or kya chahi tumhe yaar? Okay, that's the main. This is the positive side you should look at in quant point of view. Last part, I know we've been used to calculator all our life. As an engineer also we've been using calculator, but exam there's no calculators. So this math key book, if you don't, don't do your MBA, don't do your math, obviously you not get top college. You not get into IMS because there's a section cut off. If you do this math key book for next six more months, yeah, there is no maths before MBA, CAT exam. There is no maths during the MBA also. I've been done my MBA, there's no maths, trust me. You have to only study math for the next six months. This is the last time you are touching maths in this lifetime. Yeah. And you have to do only 10 questions correct. So let's target half paper. Not target 10, but 10 is We'll target half. Out of 34, we'll target 17 questions. Yeah, that's going to be our target. Six more months and you can reap the benefits of that all your life. 
yep i know maths can be scary can be overwhelming at times but let's avoid that part let's avoid the negative feeling and do that do 30 question per chapter let's complete the basic first if you can do 30 30 question per chapter we'll be done with the basics once i'm done with the basics i'll start revising everything second time after 3 months when we go to the advanced level and i have to revise everything so that thing come into picture i normally say you have to revise the topic 3 times to understand everything ek bar wo kar liya you do it once only once in a lifetime opportunity yeah so let's not worry ha let's not break our head on maths ki maths kaise hoga kaise hoga and let's focus on getting good marks all right all the best thank you